Hey, how's it going? This is Henry here, responding to your quest for a quick video on some tips you can use to get more exposure online. So currently I'm on your website for contouraestheticsclinic.com. I like how nice the layout is. So going down here too, you mentioned uh, what you do, you specialize in eyebrow microblading as well as scalp micropigmentation. Going down the website too, Okay, it's good. You have a little info about yourself right there. You have a little bit about your services as well, too. And you've got some testimonials as well as a contact form. It's good. You got a clickable phone number on there as well, too. You got your address, you got a map list and your social media links as well, too. So, one thing I'd recommend though, um, always because right here, this button isn't fully showing up so you want to make sure you have a clear call to action right away as soon as somebody lands on the page think about this like what's the purpose of this page like what's the first action you want the user to take do you want them to book an appointment with you call you whatever the case is it's always good also to have a clickable phone number at the top left so the user's eyes always start there if you see that phone number first thing they'll know to call you and then it's always good to have the contact form on the right hand side of each page and right above it you want to say something like contact us for like if you give free consultations or free estimates, like you can mention that in there right above that. It'll give them more incentives to fill it out and reach you via email. I'm going to show you what happens when you search for a makeup clinic in Margo, Florida, where you are. First thing we see is the map portion of Google, and the top three people get the most traffic. So you're actually right there at number three, which is really good. We got LE Permanent Cosmetics as well as vis uh, Visage Permanent Makeup. Once we move down, then we get into the organic section. This is another place where you want to own space. So Ellie Permanent's Facebook page, and then their website too. They have they have all the top three organic spots. So they really have a stronghold on this keyword for makeup clinics. So we're gonna take and usually too when somebody's we don't see any ads, but whenever somebody's advertising on Google, it's like they're paying to be on page one. In a sense, they're renting that space. It's always better to own the space than it is to rent. So I'm going to show you some stats about Google search. As you see here, page one gets 91.5% of the Google search traffic, while page you see while it goes all the way down to 4.8% once you hit page two. Like if a business is not found on page one, it will be much harder for them to be found on Google. And 47% of the time a Google search is conducted is for a local business, a local service, like or product of some sort. But not all traffic on page one is created equal. See like the top three spots account for the most traffic. There's a huge difference between getting that first spot and that last spot. If you get a top three organic spot to go along with a top three map listing, you're going to have a lot of website visitors coming your way. And the more website visitors you'll get will in turn lead to more phone calls, more booked appointments, and then you can use that extra revenue to grow your business even further. By having positions on page one, some businesses have added tens of thousands, if not more, to the monthly revenue stream. So let's take a look here at LE Permanent. So right here, like they see they have, right here, they have like a call to action, get quote. So they have some nice pictures. You already had that too, though. They got their testimonials on here too. So their website doesn't really look, it doesn't really have much content on here. But websites aren't judged by Google by how good they look. It's based off the amount of content they have. So anytime, like if you want to, so what Google looks for, yeah, as I mentioned, is authoritative content. You want to have at least a thousand words on your homepage, and then at least 500 words on each service page. You want to have as much information as possible about like microblading, scalp micropigmentation, and everything like that. You want to be the Wikipedia of those subjects in the Tampa Clearwater area. So some other ways you can add that information too. You can make a blog. You see, that will be another avenue where you can add all that information. You can even go past 500 words and 1,000 words too. The more words, the better. There's no such thing as too much. And another thing too... While it's very important to have a lot of authoritative content, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Another thing you'll need to are backlinks. A backlink is when you put your website link onto another website. And not all backlinks are created equal, some are more powerful than others. Getting a website to the top of Google is similar to being a kid at a school is trying to rise up in popularity. Yeah, the kid can have great looks and great personality, but what's the point if he or she is not getting those votes of confidence from the popular kids and their peers? Let's say, for example, Cosmopolitan was writing an article about eyebrow microblading, and they mentioned you as a top person. And they had your website link, and then they gave you a follow. Google will see that and be like, oh, Mike, uh, 
cosmopolitan.com likes um, contour aesthetics or to move them up the rankings. And you want to find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. But if you put your website link onto a new site called Jill's microblading.com and they gave you a follow, Google will see that and be like, oh, who's Jill's microblading? And they like contour aesthetics. We're going to leave the ranking the way it is. Their opinion doesn't mean much. We're going to go into a tool now called Ahrefs. This gives you an overview of how a website does in a search engine. So here's for contour aesthetics clinic. And like in your headline, you mentioned permanent makeup, microblading, and scalp micropigmentation, and then your business name. So it's good you have a lot of keywords in the headline. So it's good you're ranking for 97, you're appearing in 97 keyword searches. You've got 44 backlinks. You're getting 15 visitors a month. Your traffic has a value too. It's at $43. So it means you're getting revenue from being in the search engines. Um, let's take a look at the keywords your searches so scalp aesthetics tampa that's actually good you're getting search volume from that you're at position two so you, that gets 30 searches a month the kd is zero so kd the higher the number for kd or it's keyword difficulty keyword density the higher the number the more difficult it is to rank but the, when it's at zero it's really good like contoured eyebrows you're at position 13 that gets 250 searches a month so that's another keyword you want to try to rank for like uh Hyaluron pen treatment near me is appearing in that um, keyword search too. Like micro relating training Tampa is another keyword you want to try to get higher up in. So to rise up in some of these rankings, you want to add more content related to like micro blade training as well as like making making a location page about Tampa as well too. That will help. Let's see, hair, eye, stroke, Tampa. It's, it's really good. You're right that you're appearing in a lot of keyword searches. Take a look at some of the backlinks too. So with backlinking, with the backlinks, you want to make sure you're linked up to as many sites that are relevant to, as possible to what you do. So this would include like beauty, microblading, Florida, Tampa, and so on. So let's see. I see you got a salon studio that looks good. Definitely your local chamber of commerce is a good one to get a link from as well too. Think of any other beauty businesses too. Now take a look here. This is. The permanent cosmetics. So they just have it. Okay, so they do permanent makeup clinic in Margo, Florida. Their search traffic isn't actually as good as we thought it was because they're only appearing on search six organic keyword searches. They only have eight backlinks. They don't have any website visitors a month. The traffic's valued at zero, but they are spending with Google Ads, as you can see right here. So even too, you can actually see who some of your competitors are linking to. Try to link up to the same back um, websites as them with the backlinks. In backlinks, it's not always about who has the most backlinks. You want to make sure that you have a lot of quality too. So that's why it's important to have those relevant backlinks. So let's take a look here and see what keywords they are trying to rank for. Let's see, or appearing in like cosmetic, permanent cosmetic clinic. So they're not. They don't really. Have, they're not really ranking as well as we thought. Now I'll take a look at some of the backlinks. So yellow pages is, could be a good place to get a link from site links info. The backlinks aren't really that strong either. And to rank in the map portion of Google, one thing you'll need are citations. A citation is the number of times your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. And you want to make sure that you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. But sometimes having way more citations than your competition will always leapfrog you in the rankings. But what will help is if you keep adding lots of authoritative content as well as finding all those valuable, relevant backlinks. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you.